Hello everybody and welcome to Car Confections. Now sitting beside me is a very important product for the Lexus brand. This is the all new 2024 Lexus TX, which is a family three row that promises to actually be a very good three row. And what we're gonna be doing tonight is doing a night review to show you all the different lighting elements that you're gonna find on this luxury SUV. So let's go ahead and dive in. Now, as always with our night reviews, we'll go ahead and start by, does it have any animations or anything as you approach the vehicle? Uh, the answer to that is going to be no for this Lexus TX. So when you, you know, walk up to it, the only thing that you're gonna notice is that the door handles do light up a little bit. Um, so that's gonna at least illuminate where you're uh, coming to to grab the door handle. But other than that, you're not gonna get very many other things going on and you just kinda put your hand behind the door handle and that's gonna fold the mirrors out as well as get those headlights and tail lights kind of turned on so you can see where you're going. But I'm gonna go ahead and hop inside and get it fired up so we can take a look at the exterior lighting elements of this new Lexus TX. All right, so let's go ahead and dive into the exterior design of this new TX at night. Now you're getting a good look at it and what all those lighting elements look like, but I do just wanna go ahead and talk about the TX in general and say that we do have a new grill design for the Lexus brand. This is called the Lexus Unified Spindle uh, Grill. So that means that it's gonna be a lot more blended in and kind of just bleed over into this area underneath of the headlights themselves. Now I do wanna talk about the headlights because that's of course a very important uh, aspect when you're doing a night review and one of the weird things about this Lexus TX is that we do not have the triple beam LED headlights like we see in other Lexus products. It's actually not offered on any version of this new TX. We have just the one projector LED beam um, and that's going to act as your low and high beam and I'll talk about how this uh, you know looks at night and how it compares to other luxury vehicles once we get on the inside but um, I would definitely have liked them to keep the triple beam set up however we do have a, a daytime running light up at the top as well as your turn signal indicator and I do want to talk about this because down here in this lower area we have um, fog lights and we also have cornering lights. So that's certainly a nice feature that I see on this TX model is that as soon as you put your turn signal on or as soon as you turn the steering wheel, it's actually gonna illuminate this cornering light to help uh, give you better visibility as you go down roads. Now moving on to the side area, we do have 20 inch alloy wheels on this TX350 luxury model. And let's talk about our mirrors. So our mirrors are power folding. They also have blind spot monitoring. We have a turn signal indicator. Uh, it is also going to be auto dimming on the driver's side, which is a very important feature uh, that you would definitely like to see on a luxury vehicle. I'm glad they're including that. As far as the overall length, that's gonna be 203 inches long. And if you wanna know all the details about this Lexus TX, we do have a full review on the channel live now. So you can go ahead and check out that in the daytime of course this is going to be focused mainly on the lighting so here at the back as you can see we have that new Lexus TX design that's kind of uh, uh, a little bit more aggressive but also very uh, subdued at the same time and then you do have this big LED tail light that goes all the way across the entire back that's Lexus's new tail light designed to have the LED strip across the back I really like the way this looks at night it has a very premium vibe that's very recognizable um, of course as far as your lighting elements are concerned you'll see over here on the left tail light that we do have an amber LED turn signal indicator. We also have an LED reverse light. So all of that's gonna look very premium at nighttime. One of the other things I wanna point out is that we have LED license plate lighting. Um, some of the manufacturers will cheap out on that. And then as we open up the tailgate here, let's go ahead and check out how uh, illuminated the cargo area is because this is an area that a lot of manufacturers will cheap out on and let's see how it is in this TX. Well, I have to say, very impressive. Um, this is one of the things that I was most impressed by living with this vehicle for the last seven days is that all of this lighting 
really just makes your cargo area as good as the daytime really at nighttime. So you have about 20 cubic feet behind the third row of seats. And because we have these giant LED strips on the top of the uh, cargo area, it just illuminates down and really makes sure that you can see everything. We also have some more lights on that side as well. And then I do wanna point out, we have a power folding third row. So you just one press to power fold the third row um, and that does it completely automatically. And that's actually standard on every single version of the Lexus TX. But guys, that's going to be it for the exterior of this all new TX model. Let's go ahead and head on to the inside and see how it's illuminated at night. If you're new here, we're brothers and we've been reviewing cars since we were 12 and 16. We may be young, but we love cars. <laughs> and we'd love for you to subscribe to be a part of our Car Confections family. Let's learn a lot, have some fun with all the latest cars. All right, so let's go ahead and check out the inside. As you can see, as soon as you unlock the vehicle, uh, all of the interior lights are gonna go ahead and turn on. So you certainly won't have trouble seeing where you're going at nighttime in this TX because there's a lot of LED illumination, which I really like. That's certainly a requirement for a luxury vehicle, if you ask me. But let me go ahead and hop inside, shut up the door. Of course, in Lexus fashion, the door is shut with a very nice solid thunk. And as you can see on the gauge cluster right now, you do have a little bit of a welcome animation um, going on there, but let me go ahead and start it up. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and get into a first person perspective of this interior and see what it's like. So starting out here with uh, our windshield. Let me just go ahead and address the head-up display. That's going to be an option on this TX350 Luxury. It's a very nice head-up display. I really love this. Um, if you get the TX, I feel like you need to get this feature because the head-up display is very, very good. It also allows you to make like touch capacitive controls on the steering wheel and pretty much everything that you could do in a gauge cluster can be done in the steering wheel so or in the head-up display. So I would definitely recommend this is an advanced head-up display. It shows a lot more than just speed. Now, let me go ahead and talk about those headlights. Now, I mentioned earlier that um, I wish it had the triple beams and I'm going to say that when it comes to the brightness of these headlights. These are certainly good headlights. They're projector LEDs, but when you compare it to other luxury vehicles, these are definitely not as bright as some other luxury alternatives. Uh, we, of course, own a BMW, and the BMW has much brighter headlights. Volvos have much brighter headlights, and Lexus with triple beams also are brighter, so I'm a little disappointed that they didn't include that on this model. Here's what the high beam looks like. Um, I'll insert a picture on a country road with a high beam, but it honestly, it doesn't seem to illuminate much more than the low beam, which is a little bit interesting to me. And then as we head back to the gauge cluster, uh, you will find a digital gauge cluster. Of course, it's a nice gauge cluster. Um, and then You'll also find the nice leather wrap steering wheel. This is going to be a power tilt and telescoping steering wheel. We also have rain sensing wipers. And as far as some of the buttons, they're all going to be finished in a nice white illumination. So you have your two person memory seats right through here. You have your trunk controls. Um, all that's going to be finished in a nice white color. And then we also have our window switches over here on the left side in a nice white color as well. Our door grab is also illuminated with a little light there. But one thing I do want to just kind of point out in general about this TX is that we don't really have any ambient lighting. Uh, despite this being a $70,000 SUV, uh, there is zero ambient lighting besides for what you find in the uh, door grabs here. So I'm a little disappointed by that. I wish Lexus had maybe included some ambient lighting that kind of elevates your luxury experience here. But uh, overall, the cabin is still very nice. And then let's open up the center console. Inside of here, we um, have one little bulb right here that kind Sorry, of, kind of, sure excuse me, Siri, um, <laughs> that kind of illuminates what's inside of there, but I would maybe like for that to be a little brighter. And then up in front of that, uh, here's your cup holders. These uh, cup holders are completely removable and they're actually in the front and the rear, so I like that. And then as we head up here, your wireless phone charging pad has a little bit of illumination here, and then all of your USB ports are going to be nicely illuminated. Now your shifter is typical Lexus product, so bump to the left and down for drive. And then let's take a look at the rear view camera um, at nighttime. 
absolutely fantastic uh, 360 camera here. I've enjoyed this for the past seven days. It's amazing resolution and at nighttime it looks just as good if not even better. So uh, certainly an A plus for the camera setup here. Just press the P for park. And then as we head up, I do want to just point out, I'm not going to give an audio sample, uh, but we do have a 21 speaker Mark Levinson audio system. That's very, very, very good. So I would recommend getting that. Now, as far as the screen itself, it's going to be a 14 inch display here. Um, it runs wireless CarPlay, wireless Android Auto. It's a very crisp display. At nighttime, you'll notice it has just a really premium look inside of this cabin. Um, absolutely love this display fantastic uh, from the Lexus brand. You're also going to have your climate controls integrated down here in the bottom, but we do have physical controls for our actual temperature adjustment, so I like that. Automatic three-stage heated and ventilated seats, standard on all but the base model, as well as an automatic heated steering wheel. Then coming up here to our mirror, it is an auto dimming uh, interior mirror with home link garage door opener, so I like that it's dimming. It also is a rear camera mirror, and as you can see, the resolution is pretty good at night. It gets a little grainy, um, but overall, pretty good resolution. And then up here at the top, we have some more controls for our panoramic moonroof, all finished in that nice white color. Let's go ahead and see what the rear is like. As soon as you open up the door, you get some more of that LED illumination going on. Lots of LED lights in the ceiling, so I like that. It makes it nice and bright. And then sitting back here, once everything um, you know, darkens up, get the camera back in focus here. Um, the rear area is going to be pretty nicely illuminated, but once again, I really would like maybe some ambient lighting. Only thing you're going to have is over here in the door grab and then your window switches right here. Um, as far as features are concerned in the third, in the second row, uh, you have heated seats. You also have ventilated rear seats. So that's a pretty premium feature that you don't see on many of the rivals. That's for sure including Acura MDX. Uh, you also have your own climate controls, and I like that the USB ports are still lighted back here in the second row. There's a look at your whole interior. Looks pretty good at nighttime. And then we have our cup holders here in the center. I know you really can't see them uh, very well, um, but overall, very, very comfortable rear seat. This is one of the best areas about this Lexus TX is just how practical it is, and you also have rear window sunshades. But let's go ahead and uh, check out the third row really fast. So you just uh, press this little lever here and that's gonna allow the seat to fold up and out of place. You do also have uh, buttons, but it's only on the left side to fold up the uh, third row from the second row. So I'll have to go do that in the trunk itself. And now I've got them folding up. So as you can see, it's a nice one press system. And getting back here, we also have quite a bit of illumination in the third row itself. And that's really the best part about this Lexus TX is the third row is just so incredibly nice back here. Um, 33 inches of leg room. We also have the ability to power recline our third row seats, super nice feature. Uh, just makes it so comfortable. And we also have a lighted USB port as well as vents out the ceiling and those bright LED lights I was talking about earlier. And guys, that's gonna be where we leave off on this night review of the all new 2024 Lexus TX. If you enjoyed watching this video or found it helpful, we would really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button down below. By subscribing, you help give us opportunities like this where Lexus will loan us this vehicle for a full week and we can come out and do nighttime content on it. So please subscribe down below. Anyway, we'll catch you next time as we sample more of the latest automotive delicacies. Good night.